ab blaster plus yet, that's okay. Lift up and down, we're doing singles. You can still do this without. Okay, squeezing your abs, contract up and resist down. Your back is always pressing straight down on the floor. Good, I feel this already. Oh yes, this is a great machine. Length of your abdominal wall. And the more you focus on these, the more you'll see that. Now I'm going to do three pulses. It's one, two, three, squeeze down. Good. Take it up. One, and contract, and up, and squeeze, and up, then down for three. Good. And up, and down. Good. Let's do four more of these. Now we're going to work on the external and internal obliques. Just drop your knees to one side. You're going to cross your hands at the top. All right, here we go. We're going to start with singles, up and down. Now, changing the position of your body like this will change the abdominal muscles that you use. So again, if you don't have your Ab Blaster Plus, don't worry about it. Just let your knees drop to one side. Your lower back does stay on the floor. Okay, squeeze on the up and then down. Good. How many have we done, do you think? This is, I believe, eight. Good. Let's go to 15. Sure. Five more. Four, and keep your abs in tight. Three, two, good. Last one, you guys, squeeze up to the other side. And I want you to cross the opposite arm over. Ready? And Ready. here we go, take it up. Squeeze on the up and squeeze on the down. Now, notice what I just said? Squeeze on the up and squeeze on the down. You don't want to relax your abdominals at all. You want to squeeze on both directions. All right, we're going to finish off with another set. Let's take it back to the basic crunch. We're going to do isometrics, which really focus in a target. So here we go. I want you to lift up, hold, hold, squeeze, and resist down slowly. Everybody, take it up, squeeze, hold it up, hold it up, and down. Good job. Take it up. These are really, really tough. A great way to finish off your set. Take it up, squeeze, good, and down. Last two to go up, squeeze. Woo. All right, let's pull one knee into the chest as you roll up. We are going to focus on the back now. When you work your abdominals, you also have to work your back, which a lot of people forget about. So we're going to get balance and symmetry. So I want you to roll over. Good. You're going to lie all the way down. I want you to place both hands behind your head. We're going to lift up, hold, hold, and then go down. Lift up and hold. Now when you're at two more, are you okay back there, Kathy? Yeah, it's great. Good. Okay, let's do one more. If this is too difficult for you, you can leave your hands on the ground and just lift up without your hands. Here's a modification. You can look at me and see this. Great. Or you can lift up one arm at a time. Okay. One arm at a time. You guys want to join this? Do this with me? One arm at a time. Good. Let's do four more. Ooh, good. And squeeze those glutes so your feet stay on the floor, your abs stay down. Two, we're gonna finish off with my favorite. Remember what that is, you guys? Cat stretch. Before that, Kathy's ready to stretch. Isos, one more time, all right? Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, you guys, boy. come on, let's push. Hold it up, hold it up. Take it back down. How about three more? 